Cologne. Welcome to the German city of Cologne, where we're here at Gamescom. Yes, this is the biggest gaming event in the world that is 100% all about the fans. This is the first time a lot of these guys are going to get their hands on these games they've been hearing so much about. Like, it's beyond exciting. I'm really excited as well, because yes. this is my first time at Gamescom. What? So, do you know, what, what can I expect? What, can, what am I looking forward to when I walk, walk in the door? Okay, so I think the most important thing to remember, there's a few things actually to remember about right. Gamescom. So number one, yep. it's massive. Okay, massive. Number two, yeah. it's massive. Right. And number three is, what's the word? I'm oh, it's massive! <laughs> Told you. You weren't lying. Coming up, I get hands-on with Metal Gear Solid 5, we check out some of the cosplay action and chat to the boss of Xbox. Steph's pick is Metal Gear Solid, the Phantom Pain, so he's kind of jumped on here. We just kind of let him do his thing, he's, he's away in the world. Um, hey, hey. Hi, sorry, I've got my earphones on, I can't, can't hear you. Now, I've been really excited about this game because uh, Metal Gear was one of the first games I ever bought. So basically, Metal Gear is about a sort of a secret, a special forces secret group that go and do missions all over the world. Now, this is different though, of course, than Metal Gear games because it's more of an open world game. But then, you do recognise the same moves and the same feel as the original game, just despite the fact that it's obviously much bigger in scope. So here we go. Um, oh, there's, there's a bad guy. I'm going to take him down. Oh, what's this? That's not gone very well for me. That was possibly the worst stealth I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was any good at it. I just said that I've played it before. I don't know about you, Julia, but I feel a bit underdressed. Guys. Look at this! What's your name, my love? Vera. And who will you come dress as? Uh, as Harley Quinn. And how long did it take you to put it together? Um, probably ten hours in total. That's a lot of time. Are you like a serious cosplayer? Um, yeah. Well, what's your name and who have you come dressed as? Uh, I'm Sabrina and I'm Victoria Stenner from League of Legends. And how long did it take you to get this outfit ready, Sabrina? Uh, 180 hours. 180 wow. hours? I started six months ago. Me <laughs> too. Well, it's very impressive. Fair play. What, what tips would you give us who and you know haven't spent 180 hours getting ready? We wanted to get into cosplay. What was your number one tip be? Well, you have to be really dedicated to do it, and um, you have to start early because if you do it under pressure, it's not going to turn out well. Xbox stole the headlines at this year's games. Come with back-to-back -back mega announcements, which is a little bit unusual because usually they kind of save that stuff for E3 yeah, and E3 definitely. alone. So we had Crackdown 3, that was announced, well, and the first time we saw Scalebound's gameplay as well. People were really excited for that. They were super excited for that. And of course Halo Wars 2, where the crowd went berserk. They've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Yeah, the crowd did go crazy for that. Now, Sony haven't made any major announcements this week, so Xbox have had all the headlines as a result of that, really. Yeah. They're saving their big stuff for Paris later on in the year. Um, looking at some of the stuff that Xbox announced, they talked about Quantum Break. Yes, yeah, so this which is exciting. Is, yeah, it is. It's just like a game that's also a TV show and it's all together and it's got some big name actors in it. Yeah. And earlier this week, I spoke to Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, about the game. Are we going to see more of this sort of stuff on, on Xbox in the future? You know, we really let the franchise owners drive the direction of what they want to do. And there's certain franchises that we have that lend themselves to uh, video, TV, even potentially movies. And, you know, whether they're story-based and character-based, I, I do think you'll see more. MMO, massively multiplayer online games, are pretty huge here at Gamescom. When they announced yes. the news that there was a new expansion pack coming for the daddy of MMO games, World of Warcraft. Now, numbers have been kind of declining a little bit, but every time a new expansion comes out, it kind of kicks off. So we wanted to find out a little bit more exactly what this is going to bring to the table. So we thought we'd have a chat with the people who made the game. Who's going to know better than them? He's excited. How relieved are you that you can finally talk about this after years of keeping it under your hat? Very, um, yeah, it's just great to be able to share what we've been working on with our fans, with the players who come out here to Gamescom to witness the announcement in person, and it's just great to have it out there. These people who play Warcraft 
absolutely adore it. They know everything about the mm -hmm. game. So how much pressure were you on to make a good expansion? I mean, there's always a tremendous amount of pressure, right? Every expansion we make needs to be our best expansion yet. We feel like Legion lives up to that. But there's also, you know, this legacy of 10 plus years and appealing to a wide variety of players and trying to make a game that is going to captivate the person who has seen it all, has been with us for 10 years, but still feel welcoming and like a point of entry for someone who's curious about the series, who wants to check out World of Warcraft for the first time. We think we managed to nail both. We actually got to have a go on Star Wars Battlefront at E3, and we were both suitably impressed. Pretty cool, impressed. yeah. So we were very, very excited to find out. Here at Gamescom, they've announced a new mode. Steph, tell us everything. Well, it's called Fight the Squadron, yes. and it basically means you get to fight rebels versus the Empire, but in the sky. How cool is that? That's pretty amazing. Still to come, Julia gets emotional playing Unravel. We see if virtual reality is worth the hype and go head to head with a new game from the makers of Minecraft. There are some games that transcend at Gamescom, you know, with the most die-hard, crazy, fanatical fans you have ever seen. I mean, there are YouTube videos up the wazoo of these kind of games. And I'm not talking about, you know, League of Legends or Call of Duty or FIFA, you know, games that you would expect that kind of crazy passion. Yeah, games like what? Is that really a game? Oh, yes. And you're going to play it. Uh, so far, so good. I am driving a bus around an imaginary city. Would have thought it. I think I've missed my bus stop. Oh. I'm going rogue. Right. OK, yes, you've skipped a bus stop now. I've just opened the doors. It says perfect timing on there. Do you see that? It says perfect timing on the screen. What are some of the biggest like problems you encounter as a bus driver? Traffic. Yeah. Red lights. Yeah. Annoying passengers who won't sit down. <laughs> Oh, bus stop coming up. Oh, no, oh. no, no, you got to go left. There you go. go left. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, left, left, whoa, left, whoa, left. whoa. But yeah, bus simulator. It's the thing. Okay, so it's Julia's turn now to pick a game to play at Gamescom and talk about it. And what have you gone with, Julia? I have gone with Unravel. Bit of a little surprise kind of sleeper hit. Uh, it got announced, obviously, at E3 with the trailer. It's kind of a bit like, a little bit like Kirby in that it's quite woolly. Um, but it's kind of more puzzle-based and it's meant to be pretty emotional as well. Apparently, I might cry. So how's it play then, Julia? I don't play an awful lot of platform games yeah. because I tend to get really frustrated with jumping. You know, like a lot of platformers can be very like jumpy timing-based yeah. and I tend to get quite frustrated because I always ruin it. Whereas this is actually more strategic and more puzzle-based. Yeah, it is side-scrolling, but it's also going up and down sides and you're, the interaction with the with what you see on the screen, it's fascinating. It's quite different to what I've seen before. It's beautiful. I'm kind of sold on this. I would actually sit down and play this game. Now, I've just had some hands on. It's beautiful. It plays wonderfully. I mean, you must be really pleased with how it's come out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally happy. I'm, I'm like sitting right here and watching all these people play it. When I, when I see them walking away from here with like a smile on their face, it's just like, it, it's the best thing. I'm just a little bit worried that our little guy in the game will unravel. What if there's nothing left of him and he's just like a pair of eyes? I think I'd be quite upset. <laughs> he doesn't unravel, does he? Not all the way. <laughs> I will make no comment. <laughs>
Imagine all the cool things we could be doing. Oh. Instead of being here, like, I could be a professional hockey player. That could happen. Oh, OK, so am I goalie? I mean, I've kind I'd of love to be to. like a you know a pilot in the middle of deep dark space when all things are kicking off around you and you're having dog fights with other fighter pilots. That you would know. be amazing. It would be amazing. Oh, hello. Yeah. So I'm going to try and save some goals. Exactly. Oh, oh no, I completely missed that. We're taking heavy losses here. Oh. Yeah. That is wild. Oh. Yeah, take that. Oh! I keep forgetting you can look around. Okay, now I've got it, now I've got it. Oh, take some of that, sucker. <sighs> Shame it's never going to happen, though. <sighs> so, Julia, we're coming to the end of our time here at Gamescom. I'm kind of sad. sad. It? it is. But before we go, we've yes. got to take each other on at a video game. And the viewers, you're going to see me beating Julia at a video game for the no, first time. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen now. You can't beat me at a video game. Um, that's so exactly that's what's going to happen. Us, uh, but tell us what game we're going to play. So this is Cobalt. So this is actually brought about by the guys, you know, Mo Yang, who created Minecraft. So of course, everyone's kind of paying attention to it. It's this really cool, super fast, super frantic, like action beat em up multiplayer with guns. And I, it's very hard to explain. I think you just need to see it. You need really. to see me beating you at it. No, that's not. Oh. That's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Gonna happen. It's not going to happen. So Gamescom done. Yeah, we can go. We can go back home now. Bye. See you later. Actually, just hold that. Just one more game.